Life Coach Mama here with the Mama Minute. A couple of thoughts about what is a life coach and how a life coach works. One, I would like to compare it to a personal trainer. Now, many of us have set some lofty workout goals, either with weight loss or just getting back into shape, strengthening some muscles. Maybe we're already good at working out. We just want to run farther, run faster, train for a marathon. And we all can understand or somewhat understand how a personal trainer works. Of course, you could go to the gym and get some tips from a personal trainer one time. Personal trainer can tell you what to do. You could either take a video of all those exercises and stretches or write them down, memorize them. And if you're very disciplined and good at following through, you might keep up with it and do everything that personal trainer says every day for months, for years into the future. But if you're like most humans on earth, you won't. So why do you go back to a personal trainer? Well, a few reasons. Accountability, someone to encourage you, someone to help you on those days you don't feel like it, someone to push you a little farther because usually you don't push yourself as much as another person can when you're working out. Also, when you've gotten past a certain stretch or exercise or weight limit for weightlifting, or a distance in running, you have that personal trainer to tell you the next step. Maybe you want to do a new sport or learn something you never tried before. You need them to teach it to you. So a coach is the same. A life coach is going to help you with life. You get to choose what you want to work on, but they are going to be the one by your side. They're always going to be positive, sometimes challenging, sometimes hard on you, but always positive, always helpful. And that is why you have a coach. That is why life coaches suggest meeting multiple times, weekly, and that is how you will get the best results. Now, of course, again, you don't have to have that personal trainer, but you probably won't get that run or that weightlifting session or that stretch or the weight loss as quickly and as effectively. So it's really up to you. That's and so just like that personal trainer will require certain things of you and help you get to your goals, so will a life coach have expectations and also help you reach those goals that you're trying to reach in your life. The other analogy I would like to use is that of a course. Now let's think back to when you were in college. Let's say you really wanted to learn accounting. It was going to help in your business degree. Or let's say as a teacher, you were really wanted to learn about math even though you were focusing on teaching language arts. Or how about as an engineer? You were gonna focus on chemical engineering, but you still took an electrical an en engineering class. So of course, you didn't spend years on that one topic, but you needed to take at least a class or two. But did you go to class one day? Did you go to class two or three days? Of course not. You had to go to every single class. You had to do the homework, take the quizzes, the tests, maybe even go to office hours and talk to the professor with your questions. Maybe you have a study group. Maybe go online or get some extra books to help you with this topic. Just like a life coach, you can pay a life coach to meet once or twice or three times, but you're really not going to learn anything. You are trying to change your behavior in your life. Not only are you trying to learn something new, learn new ideas, new thought patterns, new techniques, parenting, marriage, whatever the topic is, strategies, ideas, you're also trying to create new neural pathways to make new behaviors, new thought processes, to change from old ways of thinking, cognitive distortions, from negative thinking to positive thinking. That isn't going to happen overnight. So I can give you all the advice and all the helpful tools that I have in a session, maybe not one hour, but maybe two or three. But let's be honest, over time, you're gonna forget them or you're not gonna be motivated to keep trying. You're going to make mistakes and mess up and need someone to hold you accountable. And not because anything's wrong with you, but just because you're a human who 
need someone to encourage them, support them, help them, teach them, coach them. And that's why we have coaches in sports and other areas of life because there are things that are just really hard to do alone. And we need someone to continually guide us. And when we hit a wall or forget or make a mistake, they're there to remind us of what we're working on and learning. And so I personally have been in a coaching program that has three coaches and I pay a monthly subscription uh, for almost a year now. And it's invaluable. I don't think I can imagine myself not needing a coach, whether I'm working on my marriage or my parenting or dealing with better ways of my depression or figuring out ways to be better. I'm learning spiritual practices and now I'm working on a business with my business coach. There's an infinite amount of things you could learn with a coach. So that's just some thoughts that I wanted to share with you about life coaching. Life Coach Mama, talk to you soon.